Yes, this is heavy starch coming to you with the cyclone shark. Uh, he has contributed much to the cause. Mm. So you've returned to die. <laughs> okay, some bang shit going on. Okay, my bad. Uh, this is heavy starch. Uh, this is the cyclone shock. I just completed it. Uh, this is my personal cyclone shock. As you know, this is a really, really good blaster. This is not one of my better paint jobs because uh, I had a chemical reaction between the uh, clear coat and the paint mixture I was using. This isn't really white. It's more like a silvery gray. So you can see I got a little crocodile going on right here and a few other areas. I mean, I could play that up and dry brush the blast or whatever, but uh, it's kind of overdone. It's a color I'm really starting to like. It's like a mahogany color and it's like uh in the light it's like a kind of burnished uh wood color uh so this is my cyclone shock uh got a few more projects uh in the works and uh, uh got something planned for these but uh right now i'm just finishing a few uh paint commissions i got stacked up and uh like I said, just wanted to show this one off. Uh, like I said, this is the Cyclone Shock paint. Uh, only uh, modifications I've done internally is uh, it's basically lubricated everything. It's getting hitting all the appropriate ranges, and this is about one of the Nerf's best blasters, and it's uh, really easy to modify. And uh, everybody else, uh, Rob, did the uh, rebarreling of it to fire elites. I like it firing megas because, uh, you know, a lot of power to it. So uh this is the cyclone shock. Um like I said got the graphics on this side and, and that side. So like I said, it's not one of my better paint jobs, but like I said, this is my personal blaster. Uh the next thing I probably do with this is I'm thinking about trying to convert this into a uh like a little mini assault rifle, you know. Uh, do something with the stock a little bit different, you know, but uh, for the most part, I'm kind of satisfied with the way it turned out. And uh, I like it. Plus, like I say, you know, things don't have to be 100% perfect. If, if it's mine, if it was a commission going out, no way I let this go out like this, but it doesn't look too bad. Like I said, it's just in a few areas where I probably didn't sand enough. So, you know, let that be a lesson to you. You can see it real clear right there. So, uh, like I say, I kind of like this paint mixture. I'll probably use it again. It's like um, silver and uh, it's really like a metallic clear and light gray. So, you know, in light, it's got like a pearlescent quality to it. So, uh, this is the Cyclone Shock with a heavy starch 100. Uh, signing out. Um, Send a shout out to my usual people, Joe the Cass, uh, Psych. Epic Nerf, uh, Rob, Nerf Brisbane, uh, Triple B, uh, especially Jodacast, doing a lot of different things with the new uh, front barrel attachments uh, to convert your blasters into M4s or AK-47. I don't know. I, it's, they look really the top of the line. Right now, I'm just going to kind of move away from that. Like I said, I'm moving toward more space age things due to the political climate as far as blasters are concerned. So uh this is heavy storage one hundred. Um don't hate congratulate and uh you all be safe out there. Peace.